Hello friends and welcome back to Java tutorial for beginners. We have so far seen the basic constructs for writing a Java program including conditional statements as well as looping statements. And from this video onward, we will start introducing you to the concepts of object oriented programming. So let's start off with the very basics, classics and objects. Java combines the data and instructions into objects which have a state and behavior. In Java, you can represent any tangible or non-tangible real-world entity as object, for example, cars, humans, library system, etc. If we consider a dog, let's say, then all its physical properties define the state of the object, like name, breed, color, and the things that it can do become the behavior of the object, like barking, wagging the tail, running, and a class is simply put the blueprint that defines all these states and properties the object can have. So object is simply put the instance or result of a class. And a class can have multiple objects. The syntax for defining a class is fairly simple. The class keyword followed by the class name and within the curly braces we list down all the fields that is state and the method that is behavior. Now, if you have to create an object of this class, we use the new keyword and the syntax is as shown. Now, if you think of a batsman, every batsman would have these common details like name, runs code, ball phase, force, sixes, centuries, half centuries. So all these properties of batsman become the fields of the batsman class. Now for the methods of this class, every batsman has a strike rate. So we can have one method to calculate the strike rate of the batsman. Another method to get runs scored and boundaries. And of course, we need a method to set all values of the class fields. Let's call it set data. So that's about classes and objects, guys. We'll introduce you to some important classes that are present in the Java library in the upcoming few videos. See you in the next one.